Consumers in Britain are reluctant to part with their money and that's forcing retailers to offer discounts. The British Retail Consortium says the rise in shop prices slowed last month. Stores are cutting prices and adding promotions just to get customers through the door. And still, despite the price pressures and thrifty consumers, American brands like Abercrombie & Fitch are pushing deeper into Europe. Nicola Tanner reports on their bet and there's still room for American brands in a crowded European market. Rome, a city that worships style and sets trends. But American retailer Gap thinks fashion-conscious Italians will fall for its casual look. Sonia Singal is leading Gap's European expansion. She came to launch this new store, Rome's first. Europe is the largest apparel market in the world, and Gap's strategy is to be in the top 10 largest apparel markets uh, in the globe, and Europe is instrumental. If you think about us compared to our key competitors, we are underpenetrated in Europe severely. In 2007, 16% of Gap's revenue came from outside the U.S. By 2013, they expect that to double. And it's not just Gap. On the famous Champs-Élysées in Paris, a brand new Abercrombie & Fitch flagship store is wooing fans with well-built models, and it's all American clothes. Even in the rain, there's a line of people waiting to get inside. But convincing Europeans to embrace American style is only half the battle. American companies face bureaucratic hurdles and the challenge of finding good retail property in a tight market. This is London's Oxford Street, where rents have soared 40% over the last 18 months. International retailers not only have to face up to quite high rent, but also rates on top of that, uh, which is a local government tax, which is often not the case in other countries. Forever 21 is the newest arrival on the street. The California-based fast fashion chain is expanding aggressively across Europe. We are opportunistic. We can do a lot of stores or no stores. It all depends on finding the right real estate. We're, we're committed to expanding throughout Europe. These may be hard times for many in Europe. But they won't last forever. And American brands sense opportunity. Nicoletano, Bloomberg, Paris.